Comment down correct answer before showing. 1. Davki Land Port, which was recently inaugurated, is located between India and which country? Option A Myanmar, Option B Nepal, Option C Bangladesh, Option D Sri Lanka. Correct answer C Bangladesh notes recently. The 10th land port between India and Bangladesh was inaugurated at Meghalaya's Davki. It is expected to boost trade and ease travel between the two neighboring countries. The Davki land port is situated about 84 kilometers away from the Meghalaya capital Shillong. The land port will boost trade and facilitate easier travel between the two countries. Comment down correct answer before showing. 2. Which institution has set up the agriculture and market information system aim is question mark. Option A FAO, Option B WEF, Option C IMF, Option D World Bank. Correct answer FAO notes food and agriculture organization FAO has set up agriculture and market information system aim is. It is an interagency platform which boosts transparency in the food market and promote policy response for food security. In its latest monitor, the aim is revealed that India's corn, soybean and rice production will be affected due to the El Nino weather event. Comment down correct answer before showing. 3. Which Indian naval ship has been decommissioned after 36 years of service? Option A. INS Magar. Option B. INS Mahan. Option C. INS Vihan. Option D. INS Bhim. Correct answer INS Magar notes INS Magar has been recently decommissioned after 36 years of service. It was built by Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers, Kolkata. This amphibious assault ship is capable of carrying 11 battle tanks, 13 BMP infantry fighting vehicles, 10 trucks, 8 heavy motor vehicles and more than 200 troops in various configurations. Comment down correct answer before showing. 4. Which country hosted the Machines Can See 2023 Summit? Option A India. Option B USA. Option C Israel. Option D UAE. Correct answer D UAE notes Machines Can See 2023 Summit was launched recently by the UAE government. The aim of the summit is to bring together experts from across the world to discuss the future of artificial intelligence and its potential in contributing to the UAE's vision of creating the next Silicon Valley. Comment down correct answer before showing. 5. Which institution along with Bank for International Settlements was launched a G20 tech sprint? Option A UIDAI. Option B RBI. Option C SEBI. Option D Niti Aayog. Correct answer B RBI notes Reserve Bank of India RBI and Bank for International Settlements BIS launch G20 Tech Sprint, a global technology competition. Tech Sprint will focus on developing innovative technology solutions for cross-border payments. The competition is open for developers around the world.